I'm up for any challenge. I mean, that's how you grow. If you don't uh, jump outside your box and, and feel comfortable in your own skin and, and get out there and, and test yourself, uh, how are you going to grow? And I'm excited for this challenge. I'm, I'm really pumped. Uh, I know the fans have our support. Uh, I feel that. I mean, I've, I feel Mountaineer Nation, and, and the people here are great, and they always have been. That's really why we've stuck around for 16 years. We really had great relationship here, great relationships here, and, and it's – it's a special place, and, and we want to make this special, and we want to make Mountaineer uh, Nation proud of what we're doing. 12 now on ESPN Plus, and it is the final dress rehearsal for West Virginia interim head coach Josh Eilert. His Mountaineers hosting George Mason tonight at the Coliseum in a charity exhibition. Nick Farrell here alongside the Hall of Famer Warren Baker. And, Bake, new coaches for both of these teams. They think they're going to learn a lot tonight. They certainly will. Believe me, they have more butterflies than players do right now. Well, for West Virginia, not just a new head coach, but so many new additions, nine in total, including eight from the transfer portal and one true freshman for Coach Eilert. It's about finding out what works tonight. Mountaineers returning just four players from last season, and of course, they went 19 and 15 overall and made it to the NCAA tournament. For thoughts from Coach Eilert, let's go to our sideline reporter, Amanda Mazie. All right, Coach Eilert, what do you want to see from your team specifically in this first half? I want to see them maintain their spacing and really take good shots. Um, you know, the first time with the fans in the stands, I want them to have that discipline uh, to really work the offense and, and, and figure out, you know, we can trust each other. We can trust each other, be in the right spot, and make the right play. All right, good stuff. Thanks, Coach. Thank Appreciate it. And thank you, Amanda. Now, this one doesn't technically count, but it is an important one for both of these head coaches, including for Tony Skin, the first-year head coach of George Mason, who played for the Patriots on that final four team in 2006. Mountaineers in all white, Patriots in green with gold trim. Our referee Anthony Eads about to throw it up in the charity exhibition between the Mountaineers and Patriots and it's Jesse Edwards who wins the opening tip for the Mountaineers at the Coliseum. And George Mason starting in a man-to-man. -man. Here's a cook, a cook. One of three transfers in the starting lineup for West Virginia this evening. Down to Jesse Edwards, who draws a foul. Referees tonight, Ray Natilli, Brett Smith, and the aforementioned Anthony Eads, a Princeton, West Virginia native. Brett Smith with the first call, and that wasn't much of a foul, so the players will have to adjust to how the officials are going to call this. Kirk Creesa, the highly talented Arizona transfer to bring it in for West Virginia to the Syracuse transfer, Jesse Edwards for the opening bucket. Really soft touch for his first shot. West Virginia man-to-man -man as well. First possession for the visiting Patriots who went 20 and 13 overall last season, 11 and seven in the A-10. Inside to Amari Kelly against Edwards, who draws a foul. Yeah. So Kelly committed a foul on the other end. He'll go to the line. Well, watching Kelly the other night, he is a very aggressive guy inside. Edwards will have to be careful, give him a little space, because he's going to take that ball into you and try to draw the foul, as he did just now. The starters for George Mason, Jared Billups, Ronald Polite, Keyshawn Hall, Darius Maddox, and Kelly who was a 64% free throw shooter last season at UNC Wilmington. He makes the first four transfers in the starting lineup tonight for George Mason. The only player with Patriots experience is Polite, who's in his fourth season at George Mason. And here's a 2-2-1 full court press. George Mason will play that and then drop back. They drop back now into a 2-3 matchup zone. Meanwhile, the starters for West Virginia, you'll notice two familiar faces if you follow the Mountaineers in Seth Wilson and Josiah Harris as Edwards takes it to the cup once again. He's got all four of West Virginia's points. Boy, Jesse Edwards, very, very aggressive, taking that ball to the hoop right away. This is Jared Billups, the Siena transfer back to Kelly. Kelly wants to drive to challenge Edwards again. That time, no good. Mountaineers move it quickly. Wilson got it. 
Boy, that's what Kurt Greeson will get you to. He'll find the open man, and that time, Seth Wilson had his feet ready and knocked that thing down. The Mountaineers want to go, and they can go through Kreisa, who led the Pac-10 in back, Pac-12 in back-to-back -back years in assists. That's Keyshawn Hall, front iron, rebound West Virginia, Josiah Harris. Harris wants a three. No good and rebounded by Ron Polite. Yeah, West Virginia with no one on the offensive board just now. Not a bad shot, but you got to get some more floor balance there. Kick to the corner to Keyshawn Hall. Back to Darius Maddox. Long two is good from Maddox, the Virginia Tech transfer, and it's no wonder that the student section is going to boo a guy <laughs> from Hokie <laughs> Land. Oh, Turnover, boy. West Virginia. Here's Maddox again to Keyshawn Hall. Got the layup. Again, that 2-2-1 that two, two, press. They, got, they really don't try to steal it. They just make you work to get the ball up the court. And then they settle back. Right now they're in a 2-3 zone, and they will match up out of that. Teresa shouting at his teammates, directing traffic against the zone look. Nine on the timer. Edwards. Kelly slows him down. Harris long two. Swish. JoJo Harris can do that. I look for JoJo Harris to try to take over the position like Trey Mitchell had the left last year. He can do that. Sophomore from Canton, Ohio is an incredible story. On the other end, it's George Mason down low. Kelly draws the foul. That's two on Edwards. And that's your concern. Edwards really is going to have to be careful. He cannot, West Virginia cannot have him in foul trouble a lot. You know, 16, 37 to go, and he's going to sit now with his second foul. Quinn Slinsky's going to come in for him. He's got four points, and he's had a touch on seemingly every offensive, every offensive possession for West Virginia. And Bacon, West Virginia's scrimmage last week against Vanderbilt, one thing that was interesting was Vandy coach Jerry Stackhouse decided to play his players through foul trouble, whereas Coach Eilert says he played it true. So Edwards simulating a real situation here is going to go to the bench no, less than four right. minutes in. Well, you know, one thing about Jesse Edwards is you have to realize he came from Syracuse. If you know anything about Syracuse basketball, you know that they were just a primary 2-3 zone. He's got to really, really work on his man-to-man -man defense here now so that he doesn't get in foul trouble as he is right now. So Quinn Slazinski, first minutes for him tonight for West Virginia, also into the game. Baraka Akoje, the freshman from Canada for George Mason, as Kelly's now four for four from the free throw line early on. He'll go to the bench, replaced by Malik Henry, one of four returners on this Patriots roster. This Okoje kid, the freshman, is a really impressive player. I saw him play the other night. He's going to be a good one. And again, they keep coming with that press. Wilson with the fake and drive. Kicks to a cook, a cook in the corner. Good rebound by Harris to get possession back for West Virginia. In the practices early this year, JoJo Harris has been the best offensive rebounder West Virginia's had. Josh Allen really likes the way that he gets inside and gets the position for that old red, uh, rebound. Preset at the point. Looks like George Mason switching to man-to-man. -to -man. On yep. the restart. Great backdoor cut by Harris. Pass didn't connect, was deflected by a Koje on the baseline. Well, this is good for West Virginia because George Mason will switch defenses. That's when you have a guy like Kerr on the floor, it's so valuable. Shot clock winding down at five as Slusinski works inside. Rejected by Henry, Kreisa had to put it up. A cook goes over the top and commits a foul. Early goings at the WVU Coliseum charity exhibition benefiting WVU Medicine Children's. West Virginia leading George Mason, 9-8.
One down, nine to go. Hey! What With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains. Or you can... Mom, can we go to the movies? Not now, sweetie. How are we ever going to find a car to fit our budget? And it fits all of us. Carvana. I don't want to spend more than 30K. Budget. I want something we can go camping in. Style. You like heated seats. And you like singing at stoplights. Premium sound. And we, and we both, both need parking, parking assist. assist. Here. I'll meet you outside. Bring your purse. Carvana. Our kid's a genius. How do we get it? They deliver! Oh, oh, all right, let's go. <laughs> Buy your car the easy way with Carvana. This football season, Prize Picks is making every game day worth more. Just pick more or less on player stats like rushing yards, touchdowns, and more, and win up to 25 times your cash. Go for the win across the country and get hyped this season with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Visit PrizePicks.com/tv for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. Raiders Lions. Monday at 8 on ESPN and ABC. Super racing. Yes, guys. Sam, well, tonight's game features two coaches who are on the sideline as head coaches for the very first time in their careers. George Mason's Tony Skin, who was a part of their 2006 Final Four team, says coaching at his alma mater is such an advantage because he knows the ins and outs of his program. His coaching philosophy, well, he wants guys who work every single day and don't take a day off and work really hard. Now, across the way, Josh Eiler didn't play at WVU, but he's been on the sideline and on this staff for 17 seasons. Now, his philosophy very much the same, adding that one of his biggest philosophies centers around chemistry. And Eiler says he really likes the chemistry of this team, considering what they had to put together in such a short amount of time. Nick? Great stuff, Amanda. Thank you. No nerves tonight, Coach Eilert says. Just excitement to be at the Coliseum in front of fans for the first time. But Coach Eilert delivered a tough hand this week when the news came down that transfer guard Raekwon Battles' waiver for immediate eligibility was denied by the NCAA. WVU will appeal, but Bake, he's a guy that averaged 17.7 points per game a season ago for Montana State, an NCAA tournament team. He's a difference maker when he it comes to Big 12 teams. Is. The Mountaineer fans would be in for a treat that this guy can get everything squared away. I hope that the uh, NCAA does the right thing. Meanwhile, his play resumes. There is Raekwon Battle who previously played at Washington and Montana State. A cook, a cook picks up his second foul. So he goes to the bench. And very quickly, Bake, we're seeing West Virginia's bench depth coming out onto the court tonight. You know, Nick, we, we talked about it before the game. I said, you know, Pat Summit is going to be huge for this ball club because he's going to have to come in when any of those big guys get in foul trouble and he's in there right now. He's, Barely played five minutes, haven't played quite five minutes yet, and both bigs for West Virginia with two fouls. Mountaineers facing a press again. The five for West Virginia is Creesa, Wilson, Harris, Pat Sumnick, the new entrant, and Quinn Slazinski, who previously played at Iona and before that, Louisville. Harris, corner three off the back iron, but rebounded by Slazinski. Wilson, an open look at a three, misses that. Here's a Koje. Drive to the bucket, had it stripped. West Virginia gets possession back. The Koje, he will get out of control. He's only a freshman, but the guy is high energy. Big, want to go back to the point about Raekwon Battle, right? Because Coach Eilert 
is needing to find where some of this production is going to come from with a guy who averages 17 points ineligible for the moment. And Battle would be able to play next season if he can't play this year as long as he graduates according to a team source. There's Carissa with a three. And that's right on cue because some of the scoring has to come from him, even though he's a pass-first guy. He was a pass-first shooter second. And Josh Island told him, listen, we need some offense out of you. And he knocked that thing down. He's really worked on that shot as well. Mountaineers got the news about Battle's waiver being denied Monday. Didn't practice Tuesday. Coach Eilert admitted that Wednesday's practice seemed like maybe some guys were a little bit down about the situation. But then they had a great practice yesterday and are ready to go for tonight. Meanwhile, the Mountaineers have sent a player to the free throw line and one down low. It's Amari Kelly again. And Pat Simmons picks up his first foul. So... They're going inside and challenging West Virginia's bigs right now. You're going to have to keep the feet and just put the hand straight up. That's five team fouls for West Virginia in about six minutes of action, all of them by bigs. Edwards with two, a cook with two. Both players are on the bench currently, and Sumnick with one. Meanwhile, Kelly a chance to give George Mason the lead, and he does. Perfect five for five from the line in the first half. More substitutions for both teams. Seth Wilson to the bench for West Virginia. Kobe Johnson getting his first minutes. The five for George Mason. Polite, Woody Newton, Akoje, Malik Henry, and Keyshawn Hall. Frisa can't connect with Sumnick. Turnover, Patriots ball. And you're going to have turnovers like that early in the season like this. These guys haven't played that much against other competition together. George Mason, a one-point edge. Keyshawn Hall working against Slazinski. West Virginia gets it back. Good cut by Kobe Johnson and a rejection by Malik Henry. Under 14 to go in the first half, West Virginia trailing 13-12 in this charity exhibition contest. Teresa inside to Slazinski. Harris comes over the top but can't finish it. Meanwhile, open look for Hall. Other end, got it. Four-point lead for George Mason. And the first three ball for the Patriots. Keyshawn Hall, not known as a great outside shooter. Knocked that down. He was a teammate of McCabe, Jordan McCabe, at UNLV. Of course, Jordan McCabe, former Mountaineer, on the bench tonight. Assistant coach on Josh Eilert's staff. Good D by Malik Henry. Carissa puts up one up. He made it and drew the foul. Boy, they call him the magician. Carissa, <laughs> that is magic right that there. That certainly was. Maybe he sold that a little bit, though, Bake. One more look at it. Let's see. Well, you know, the official's right there. I think they got him on the arm, so. You know what? You shouldn't be that close to a guy shooting a ball away jump shot like that. So he deserves to get that call. Kirk Risa, 6'3", senior from Estonia. Talented transfer from Arizona. Three seasons there, played for both Sean Miller, Western Pennsylvania legend, and Tommy Lloyd. He said he was tired of seeing all the hot sun in the sand, so <laughs> he came east. He brought it with him, though. Beautiful day <laughs> in Morgantown so. today. Maybe not desert climate, but pretty decent for late October. Creasa a chance to level the score. And he does. 77% free throw shooter last year in his junior year at Arizona. He's got a team leading seven points for the Mountaineers. Alfred Nebay in, on, in the ball game for West Virginia, replacing JoJo. He First. needed the belt. 
Good take there by Keyshawn Hall. Goes right at Pat Sumnick for the bucket. Sumnick did a good job that time of not trying to block that shot. First touch there for Neve, true freshman from Israel, six foot six. Parisa draws another foul. That's on a Koje, his first. And it'll be a Koje to the bench as George Mason makes a substitution. Darius Maddox back onto the court. Tony Skid's team won 64-52 Monday in a scrimmage against St. Thomas, Florida. Played really good defense, interior defense against St. Thomas. Plus 13 rebounding margin. Yeah, they blocked a lot of shots too. They, they will challenge inside. Got a rebound there through Woody Newton. Under 12 minutes left in the first half. George Mason up by a deuce. Good move inside by Hall. Can't flush it down, gets his own rebound. Spinning past Neve, got that one. Nine points for the Cleveland native. Mountaineers moving quickly, settling down a bit now. Johnson slashing and a block inside. George Mason leading West Virginia 20 to 16 in this charity exhibition at the WVU Coliseum. We've got an injured CJ Donaldson. And I heard a pop. And he is in all kinds of pain. I got my x-rays and they told me I had broke my ankle in two places. My goal was to basically put his fibula, his, the small bone on the outside, back together. He's had an excellent recovery. He's back doing exactly what he loves to do. I'm back, happy, healthy, and returning onto the football field. That was a coal miner that broke their ankle on the job. It would be the same exact care no matter who was there. The air feels different on fall Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion. West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. This moment is your legacy. This jam session, this story, this heartbeat. Stella! Because when you give to WVU Medicine Children's, you're not just giving dollars. Don't you cry. You're giving hope, lifelong joy, a healthier future. You're giving a legacy. Become a donor at wvukids.com slash legacy. Mountaineers know. Let's go! Really means let's try. Let's create. Let's explore. And let's do it all together. Incredibly excited uh, for Josh to keep me on. Uh, even more excited, more blessed. Um, but that time in between with our current players and the staff was, was a special time. It was Stressful is an understatement, but inside this building was very pure, very genuine. Even the guys that left for better opportunities, it, it, was, it was a special time to bond. So I'm um, thankful for that. that. That's assistant coach Alex Ruoff for West Virginia, former Mountaineer player, one of three former Mountaineer players on the bench under interim head coach Josh Eiler, the others Jordan McCabe and Deshaun Butler, who of course played on the final four team in 2010. 
Damar Johnson, the other assistant coach, as Slazinski nails a three for West Virginia. That's the third Mountaineer triple. And that's one thing that uh, Gwynn can do. At six foot nine, he's going to make the big whoever's on and have to come out. All four of those assistants in some way have a connection to former West Virginia coach Bob Huggins. And they're hoping for a big season this year to continue the foundation that he built at West Virginia. Slazinski might try again. Nope, dribble drive. What a bucket that is from Quinn Slazinski on the left side. Two great plays in a row. Knocking down a long range three and then taking it to the hole. Absorbing the contact and going to the line for three. One more great look at the Slazinski layup. Only played seven games last year at Iona, had his season cut short by an injury. He hits the free throw, six points now, and it's a tie ball game once again with just over 10 minutes left in the first half. By the way, all but five of West Virginia's points coming from newcomers as George Mason commits an offensive foul, Woody Newton, the culpable player. Five team fouls for West Virginia and five now for the Patriots. Yeah, that was away from the ball. Kirk Reese is out of the game now. Let's see how Josh Allen wants to play it. Yes, Kobe Johnson playing point guard now with Carice on the bench. Somebody's got to be able to give him a blow. The five for West Virginia, Johnson, Slazinski, Wilson, Sumnick, and Neve. Great offensive action by West Virginia. That was textbook big. Excellent backdoor cut by Neve. For Vestensky, and they're right there to get him the ball. Nice play. Mountaineer depth down low being tested so far tonight. Jesse Edwards and Akuka Cook both with two fouls. And that's another offensive foul by George Mason. Overplay and a good backdoor cut. If a team tries to overplay, you go backdoor, you can get some easy baskets like that. Good read by both players. Last Patriots foul on Amari Kelly. That's his second. Mountaineers in front by two. Slazinski wants it. Ten on the timer. Neve inside. Good cutting pass to Slazinski for three. Boy, is he on a roll right now. West Virginia's offense looks much more sharp coming out of that recent timeout. Yes, Five-point lead for the Mountaineers. Another whistle, this time a defensive foul on Kobe Johnson, his first. Excellent shot. Sosinski feeling it, able to get his feet uh, set, and when he does that, he shows you that he can shoot it. Three unanswered field goals for West Virginia, allowing the Mountaineers to pull back in front. Patriots looking for an answer. Phillips is short. Newton's putback is no good, but he's fouled. Well, and that's the thing that really watch, uh, worries Josh Island. West Virginia has had trouble defensive rebounding. And that time, no box out inside. You had two George Mason guys basically fighting over the ball for that offensive board. If there's one thing Coach Eilert wanted to improve after the Vanderbilt game, it was just that, being yes. defensive rebounding. And says that it has to be a team effort, especially when Jesse Edwards is not on the court. That's exactly right. And if you get ready for Big 12 play, if you don't rebound defensively, you don't have a chance. Woody Newton made the first of two. Here comes the second chance to make it a one possession ball game. Newton no good, so it stays a four point West Virginia lead. By the way, Newton, this is his third school previously played at Oklahoma State in the Big 12. And before that at Syracuse, he received a waiver from the NCAA as a third time, second time transfer, I should say. 
Patriots still waiting on a waiver for ETSU transfer Jalen Haynes. He's not active tonight, but averages 14 points per game. There's Newton with a triple from deep, one-point game. Well, you know, that Derek, Joe, George Mason now, but these guys have a ton of experience coming in and playing ball. Patriots changing up their defensive look once again. Eight on the shot clock for West Virginia. Yeah, man to man now. Johnson had it stripped and taken away by Baraka Akoje. Good positioning by Seth Wilson. Maybe a bit late. Saints, Smith all over that. Yeah, Saints Seth did not give him enough room. Boy, it was close. There's a fine line on a play like that, whether or not he had enough space to come down and turn. Josh Island certainly thinks that uh, Seth Wilson had good position. 15 combined fouls, eight against West Virginia, seven against George Mason. Meanwhile, it's been a flourish here from the senior Newton. But the lead has scored the last five points for the team in green. Now he has six points, was a 61% free throw shooter last season for the Pokes. And the Patriots lead again by a point. And they're staying with that 2-2-1. Two, two, and now dropping back into a, a matchup zone. They've done that throughout the ball game. They have gone man a few times, but for the most part, that's what they've been playing. Slazinski had the hot hand a moment ago for West Virginia. He spots up from deep two range. No good rebound, George Mason. Maddox stepping back and firing. Tough shot from the Virginia Tech transfer. That's the one thing about Maddox. He can really create his own shot. Three-point Patriots lead extending the pressure again. Levey in the corner. Pass is tipped and then taken away. Yeah, too tight for Levey to get that pass through. Driving is a Koje. Tough take. That's his first two. Six different scorers now for the Patriots who lead by five. Slazinski has his shot rejected. Got two guys up that time, finishes easily. First Mountaineer in double figures. Quinn Slazinski has 11. That's what you have to do against George Mason inside. They blocked a ton of shots from St. Thomas the other night. Give him a little head they get him off the feet. On the other end, Slazinski, a defensive play against Newton. Second chance for Newton is no good. Mountaineers get the board. One possession ball game late in the first half of this charity exhibition at the Coliseum. West Virginia really trying to get something set here. Five to shoot. Kobe Johnson to Slazinski. Got to heave it. Short rebound Billups. Not a real good possession for West Virginia. Not a lot of movement. We've got some tired guys on the floor. Three West Virginia guys ready to check into the ball game. Akoje on the screen from Henry. Now back out to Maddox. He'll fire again. Got it. So you can't give him much. You cannot give him much space. And Josh Island has seen enough. Calls a timeout. George Mason threw Darius Maddox hot hand leading 35-29. They don't like Virginia Tech around these parts, but Maddox is firing away. Mom, can we go to the movies? Not now, sweetie. How are we ever gonna find a car to fit our budget? And it fits all of us. Carvana. I don't wanna spend more than 30K. Budget? I want something we can go camping in. 
style. You like heated seats. And you like singing at stoplights. Premium sound. And we, and we both, both need, need parking, parking assist. assist. Here, I'll meet you outside. Bring your purse. Carvana, our kid's a genius. How do we get it? They deliver! Oh, all right, let's go. <laughs> Buy your car the easy way with Carvana. My boy. What you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, <laughs> you win 3x. Pick four right, you win 10x. And if you pick six right, you win 25x you can. Doesn't don't get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. If you've been injured in a slip and fall accident, hiring Fair and Farrah can make all the difference. Case in point, our client was injured in a major restaurant chain and was told they wouldn't get a dime from the restaurant. But that didn't stop our team from proving that the restaurant's floor was dangerous and we got them to pay nearly a half a million dollars. And on top of that, they completely changed their floors, making the restaurant safer for future customers. Fair and Farrah, here for you, here for good. Last night, I made a wish on a star. I've got a good feeling about it! Let's go! Okay, focus. Disney's Wish, rated PG, only in theaters. When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries and all the fall flavors. When quality ingredients bring more to the table. And when you're serving up tastes they love at low prices, that's totally Target. Knowing how filthy Sid's wrister is means knowing why goalies lose 10 pounds of sweat every game. Knowing it's overtime against Connor McDavid is knowing the game's as good as over. Knowing the taste of victory is knowing it tastes best out of one particular cup. Knowing where the season's biggest events can be seen means knowing you'll never miss one. Maple Leafs Bruins, Thursday, 7.30 on ESPN+. It's a 13-2 run for George Mason, allowing the Patriots to take a six-point lead late in the first half as we go inside the huddle with West Josh Island. Notice the guy's bait that he had in the huddle with him. Two Mountaineers in foul trouble back on the court. A cook of cook, number 13, and Jesse Edwards, number 7, have not played since the early portion of this first half. Edwards gets involved and gets stripped. Seth Wilson hustling back. Going to be a tie-up possession arrow pointing in favor of the Patriots. I know Josh Allen is not an overly big fan of, uh, of a zone, but we're inter be interested to see what kind of defense West Virginia plays with the two bigs in foul trouble as they are right now. Will they go zone some to try to pit, uh, protect those guys? Mountaineers have committed 18 fouls, George Mason seven. Patriots have a six point lead. Rebounding margin is even at nine apiece. And Maddox has been red hot as of late with seven first half points. Now, what's the game? What's the game? Stand man to man. Akoje with the lob and the flush from Malik Henry. Akoje really sees that he saw that Edwards came over to help out and just threw it up at the rim, knowing his big would get it and flush it. Edwards steps into a three. Rebound is loose. Possession will stay with West Virginia. That's an impressive little freshman coming in. He's going to be a good player for them. Connection for George Mason between the freshman Okoje and senior Henry. Under four and a half left until halftime. Seth Wilson inside, got the floater. 
Nice move by Seth Wilson. Didn't try to get all the way to the board. Got inside enough just to get it up over the D. Bake up until that floater by Wilson. 11 of West Virginia's last 13 points had come from Quinn Slazinski. Teresa blocks his first personal ninth team foul. So here is the 6-3 freshman from Canada, Akoje. For a one and one, and he got the first. So give him three points on the night. Bake, seems like this young man has some tremendous upside. Yes, he does. He's gonna make a lot of mistakes, but he's a freshman, but you can see the ability that he does have. He'll go to the bench replaced by Trey Wood. George Mason right now, 12 for 13 from the line. They were atrocious against St. Thomas. I, don't, I didn't get the stat sheet, but their announcers were talking about how bad they were shooting free throws. Can't miss one tonight. Here's a cook for West Virginia to Edwards. Okoje tried to double, but Edwards wins the duel on the low block. Six points now for the Syracuse transfer. Nice move inside. Really took his time. He's going to have to be aware because they're going to start doubling him. He'll have to look to kick that thing out some. But nice move that time inside. Henry to Okoje on the baseline. Working against Creasa, and it's another block. Second personal for Kirk Creasa. Jesse Edwards averaged a double-double last season in the ACC. It'd be sweet for Josh Eilert if he could do it in the Big 12. One down, nine to go. Hey, what are you doing out here? I just had something picked up. Oh my gosh, I'm having something delivered. Carvana. You know Carvana. Searched it. Bought it, scheduled it, ah, and here it is. You think Carvana's good for buying? You should try selling one. Oh my gosh, it's almost identical. You gotta have backup, you know what I say. Good job, hon. Thanks. Woo! I loved it once and I love it twice. Uh, where is the other one? Buy. Or sell. Your car with Carvana today. This football season, Prize Picks is making every game day worth more. Just pick more or less on player stats like rushing yards, touchdowns, and more and win up to 25 times your cash. Go for the win across the country and get hyped this season with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Visit prizepicks.com slash TV for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. I avoided credit cards most of my life, but when I started to create a streaming platform for musicians like me, I knew it was important to build my credit to set my business up right. I heard about the Chime Credit Builder card and I signed up right away. I didn't have to worry about fees, interest, or credit checks. Within a month, my score went up. Now it's up over 100 points. I feel set up for success and so is my business. I tell everybody about the Chime Credit Builder card. Here we go. Check it out at Chime.com. Last night, I made a wish on a star. And the star answered. It's me. With such power, I can do anything. Disney's Wish. Rated PG. Only in theaters. When Target's Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you get low prices on the trends you love. That's totally Target. Knowing how filthy Sid's wrister is means knowing why goalies lose 10 pounds of sweat every game. Knowing it's overtime against Connor McDavid is knowing the game's as good as over. Knowing the taste of victory is knowing it tastes best out of one particular cup. Knowing where the season's biggest events can be seen means knowing you'll never miss one. To know hockey is to love hockey. The NHL on ESPN and ESPN+.
Welcome back to the Coliseum. Well, Nick mentioned this earlier, but there are three former Mountaineer players on Coach Eilert's staff, the newest and youngest being Jordan McCabe. Now, Jordan just finished his playing career at UNLV last season, and although this is his first coaching gig, he is fresh out of college. The players respect him like he's been doing this for a while. Jordan told me he's taking the approach of working with the players and not so much of a dictator out there on the court. But Nick Abake, we watched this earlier today during the shoot-around. He certainly commanded the attention of every single player when he was talking. That kid has a bright future. Even just now in that huddle, he's down there coaching them up. I think that kid has a great future in this business. Absolutely so, Amanda Bake. We did get to witness it today at shoot around. He clearly has the respect of with these West Virginia players, and you think he's got head coach written all over it. I think he does. Yeah, he certainly does. I've watched a number of practices. He's out there directing traffic, and you can just see the wheels turning like a head coach would do. Okoje's second trip to the line starts with a make. He's got five points. He's sent there after Kirk Creesa picks up his second foul. Back-to-back -back blocking fouls for the senior for West Virginia. And remember, that is a point of emphasis this season, block charge. And it's very likely that because of a slight rule change that you're going to see a lot more blocks in college basketball this year than you would charges. The key difference is in the timing, as I understand it. If a player plants his foot to go airborne, that's when the defender has to be set. Previously, the defender could be set when the player went airborne. So it's a slight change that could really tip the scales in terms of a lot more blocks being called this season. Something to watch for sure. Boy, George Mason has some rim protectors. If you go inside, you better be ready to do a head fake or something because they are going to throw it back. And here on the offensive end, a chance to go up by double digits for the first time. That's what the Patriots do. Bucket from Malik Henry, the Texas native, four points. Back in that matchup zone after the 2-2-1. Somehow that almost went in. Mountaineers still have it. Josiah Harris down low, fighting, draws a foul. They'll get Malik Henry with his second personal. You know, George Mason is doing all of this, and Ronald Polite, their leader, only has two points. But he's a kid. He's getting ready to come in the, in the game right now for George Mason. He's a very unselfish kid. Somebody that doesn't really care who gets the credit as long as they win. And that's the type of player you'd like to have as a leader on your team. Harris, the sophomore from Canton, Ohio, has his third point of the night for West Virginia as more changes are made. Back in for George Mason, polite and Maddox. What an interesting story Josiah Harris is, by the way, Bake, just 19 years old, has already graduated <laughs> with a bachelor's degree in communication studies, but is now pursuing a master's in executive sport management. Just thinking to myself, what was I doing at age 19? Oh, my. Did not have a degree, that's for sure. I was probably still in some of my freshman classes. Who knows? <laughs> well, I was yes. talking to some folks within the program who said that, that Harris could potentially have a bachelor's and two masters. Yeah, before he leaves, yes. In, in a traditional four-year college span. That's really impressive. Maddox, that's a long two. Has a line drive shot. A cook with the rebound for West Virginia. Final two minutes, Mountaineers trailing by eight. West Virginia fortunate that Newton didn't get that rebound for George Mason. Wilson kicking a cook for three. Back iron. Rebound polite. Polite lost it. Takeaway for West Virginia. Almost gave it right back. Wilson back to Carissa. Buck 20 left. Carissa loses control of it. Wilson steps into a deep one. There's Ofri Neve coming in to try to collect the rebound. Foul on Okoje, his second. Well, there's no secret. West Virginia really struggling to find some type of rhythm on the offensive end. Great. 
Another change for the Patriots. It's Trey Wood re-entering and Okoje checking out. Neve, the true freshman with a one and one and he gets the first. Josh Island really likes Neve. Once he gets his body big enough, He's still, you know, very thin. You can look at his frame. He's got to put some weight on and get some experience, and he's going to be a good player. But right now, this is a big learning curve for him. 6-6 six, six forward goes two for two. Two-possession ball game entering the final minute of the first half. Good defending by Kresa. He commits a foul on the near sideline. That's his third. Coach Eilert is incensed. Well, you know, Kirk Reese is upset, as is Josh Eilert, and I understand that. But Kerr, with two fouls, as important as he is to this ball club, can't even take a chance like that. But you never know which way the call is going to go, and it did not go his way just now. So Creesa now in the worst foul trouble for West Virginia with three. Edwards and a cook continuing to play with two fouls. Final minute of the first half, West Virginia trailing by seven. Novay taking it in. Floater to Edwards. What a dunk. What a pass from Novay. Timeout taken by Tony Skin with 25 seconds left. Big, we got to get another look at that, don't we? Yes, it was an excellent. Driving down the lane was not out of control and just threw it up where only Jesse Edwards could get to it. I think you're seeing why Coach Eiler likes Ofri Neve, the freshman from Israel, really getting involved on the offensive end over the last few minutes. Well, as we said, a lot of these guys are going to have to grow up early because West Virginia is going to need everybody, you know, once they really get into the big play here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you know. It's a baptism right here, and um, it, it's good. It, that's a, you don't know what a play like that will do for him. You know, his confidence is going to continue to build. And Bake, a situation like this, right, 25 seconds left out of a timeout. Both coaches telling us it's about us, right? Yeah, I want to win, but it's about the situational stuff and seeing what works. This is one of those important scenarios for George Mason to try to have a productive final possession before halftime. Well, they've got the right hand, so he's going to probably run the offense and get the right thing done. Shot clock is dark with 15 to go. Hall against Kobe Johnson. Hall puts one up. Ball is loose. Slazinski kicked it. So George Mason will have another opportunity here with under three seconds left. Edwards is out of the game. That's a good move. You don't want him to pick up a foul here. Great defensive play by Neve. He's got time. Missed it wide. And that's the first half. George Mason leading West Virginia in this charity exhibition, 44 to 39. Let's get some thoughts from Josh Eilert now. He's with our sideline reporter, Amanda Macy. Coach, your two bigs, a cook and Edwards, got in foul trouble early on. How did that change your game plan? That's my worst nightmare. I, I don't have any depth at the five, and both of them got too early, so our rotations got all messed up. And I mean, they put up 44 points. Uh, we're not staying in front of people. We really aren't. Your just overall first impression of seeing your team play in a real game in front of fans. 
It's a work in progress. It really is. Uh, they, they disrupted our timing in terms of what they decided to do defensively. Uh, so I wasn't really impressed with our press break and the way we handled their zone early. Uh, but we'll make some adjustments and then we'll move on. All right, thanks. Appreciate your time. Nick? George Mason leading West Virginia through the first 20 minutes of play, 44 to 39. Keyshawn Hall leads the Patriots with nine. Quinn Slazinski with 11 for the Mountaineers. Our halftime report is next. Stay with us right here on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. Huh. How long have you been tracking our car's value with Carvana? Just like seven months. Should we sell it? We hold. Hold. Silver vans are going for more right now. Should we? Hold. Our low mileage is paying off. You think we should? Hold. Depreciation's really heating up. You think? Hold. Hold. We just did 2.5%. Hold. Now. I'm on it. I'm on it. Already sold to Carvana. Go to Carvana and track your car's value today. This football season, Prize Picks is making every game day worth more. Just pick more or less on player stats like rushing yards, touchdowns, and more, and win up to 25 times your cash. Go for the win across the country and get hyped this season with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Visit prizepicks.com/tv for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. When I first started out as a filmmaker, I didn't want to get into credit cards because I realized I didn't know anything about it and it felt very risky to me. So my friend told me about Chime. I got the Credit Builder card and it was crazy. I didn't have to worry about interest. I didn't have to worry about fees. It wasn't a credit check. My score is up 80 points. I just finished my feature film and it feels like there's a future ahead to where we're saving up to buy a house. Look, if I can do it, you can do it too. Join me at Chime.com. How good does it feel when Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less? When you can save on good and gather groceries and all the fall flavors. And when quality ingredients bring more to the table. When you get low prices on the latest trends. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you're serving up taste they love at low prices. That's totally Target. Thanksgiving is an institution here. It's the John Pava mask. First governor of New Plymouth Colony. We're looking for an individual. You're not going to believe what he's wearing. Everyone in town's wearing them. Be careful who you trust. Dad? Thanksgiving. Exclusively in movie theaters November 17th. Welcome back to the Coliseum. WVU down by five to George Mason. The real winner tonight will definitely be WVU Children's Medicine, or WV Children's Hospital here at WVU because this is a charity exhibition game to benefit them. Joining me is Aaron Blake with WVU Medicine Children's. Thank you so much for joining me. Talk about how special this relationship is with the university and the hospital. Oh, I mean, we have just such a great relationship with the university, but also with um, WVU Athletics, um, not only do they come to visit the hospital, they create projects and fundraising opportunities all the time. Um, and they're just always looking for ways that they can give back to help support the kids um, and just give them a little hope um, while they're in the hospital. And it's just an amazing experience to be. Some of the guys on the court that are playing tonight have visited some of those kids. And I know it's so special because just for a minute, those kids, they don't have to think about being in the hospital because they get to see these players. So how special is that when these athletes visit? Oh, it's amazing. Those kids just kind of light up. Um, they love that experience of having them come in, talk to them, even them just talking about their day. Um, it just kind of breaks up the monotony. And it's wonderful for the um, athletes as well. I mean, we even see athletes who have graduated, they still come back um, later on and want to give back and they talk about their time with the patients and it just means so much to everybody. You have a legacy campaign going on right now, which I think is an appropriate name because it's just, you can leave a mark on this community and this hospital. Absolutely, and that's what it is. Um, 
everybody um, that's donating money, they're donating stuffed animals, no matter what it is, we want them to look at it as they're creating a legacy of hope for our families, for our patients. Um, they're not just purchase, helping us purchase equipment. They're not just helping us find cures for diseases. They're really making a difference and creating a legacy that's going to continue um, within our state, within the surrounding region. And we just are so proud to have everybody's support. Aaron Blake, thank you so much for joining me. No losers tonight, that is for sure. We appreciate that. All right, first half highlights coming up next with Nick and Warren Baker right after this. Stay with us. Joining you from the Coliseum, WVU and George Mason. We'll be right back. It is time to roll out the carpet and bring on the Mountaineers. Join us at the Coliseum this season and be part of one of the most electric atmospheres in college basketball. Welcome to the Madhouse on the campus of West Virginia University. Tickets are on sale now at WVUGame.com or by calling 1-800-WVU-GAME. Secure your seats today and we'll see you at the Coliseum. Huh. How long have you been tracking our car's value with Carvana? Just like seven months. Should we sell it? We hold. Hold. Silver vans are going for more right now. Should we? Oh. Our low mileage is paying off. You think we should? Hold. Depreciation's really heating up. You think? Oh. Oh. We just did 2.5%. Hold. Now. I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, already sold to Carvana. Go to Carvana and track your car's value today. Yes. 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 Magnifico has everyone's wishes, and he'll never give them back. Might as well get through all the bad stuff right up front. Last night, I made a wish on a star. Magic is forbidden by anyone other than the king. <laughs> it's not me you should be afraid of. <laughs> Disney's Wish. Ready PGA. Only in theaters November 22nd. Tickets available now. This football season, Prize Picks is making every game day worth more. Just pick more or less on player stats like rushing yards, touchdowns, and more, and win up to 25 times your cash. Go for the win across the country and get hyped this season with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Visit prizepicks.com/tv for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. Knowing how filthy Sid's wrister is means knowing why goalies lose 10 pounds of sweat every game. Knowing it's overtime against Connor McDavid is knowing the game's as good as over. Knowing the taste of victory is knowing it tastes best out of one particular cup. Knowing where the season's biggest events can be seen means knowing you'll never miss one. Maple Leafs Bruins, Thursday, 7.30 on ESPN+. Time at the Coliseum in this charity exhibition benefiting WVU Medicine Children's. George Mason leading West Virginia by five. The news this week is that Jay Jacobs, one of the longtime radio announcers for WVU men's basketball, is retiring after an outstanding career. And earlier this week, the team saluted him. Jay, it doesn't come any better than that. No, it doesn't, Jack. This is a huge game, and what you have to look for early is the fact that you don't want the emotions of this night. You get carried away so early. Beeline, straight away, three ball. Yes! Oh, my goodness, when you care enough to send a very best, send it home. Over the midcourt, down the floor, pitch snoggle, and he dunks it! Oh, baby, did he dunk it! And my partner, Jay Jacobs, has just left our position, and he is exhorting that crowd. 1-3-1-1, one, 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 and now 1-3-1, one, one, and that sets it up. 1-3-1-1 one, is one, going to get to six players. And we'll give you six. Yeah, that, and that maybe that's what they're using. I think they're going to get one guy out of there. They're 1-3-1-1. One, one, one. Oh, my Jared with the head tap. 
right wing pass goes to Elton Scott. Clock is at four. Goes to Jonesy. Going to try a three. Fade away. It's up. Good! Call a doctor! And right now, we're probably playing to the best basketball, which you should be at the time. The best basketball we played all season. Get ready to make the best call you've ever made. Stand up. Let's go. Let's go. So long, Big Blue. Hello, Golden Blue. The West Virginia Mountaineers are going to the Final Four. Hey, this has been a lot of fun for me here today. And I hope you have enjoyed this trip down memory lane as much as I have. We started at 12. Went an 11 deep. This guy's up, man. Let's go. And dropping down since 9-6. What happened when the Big 8 met the Southwest? Seven Heismans, count them. With six at the net, five on the floor, and four schools stronger. We put up threes, throw up deuces, and make one thing clear. We've always been greater than 12. Huh, how long have you been tracking our car's value with Carvana? Just like seven months. Should we sell it? We hold. Hold. Silver vans are going for more right now, should we? Hold. Our low mileage is paying off. You think we should? Hold. Depreciation's really heating up, you think? Hold. Hold. We just dipped 2.5%. Hold. Now. I'm on it. I'm on it. Already sold to Carvana. Go to Carvana and track your car's value today. My boy. What you doing? I'm locking in my prospects. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, <laughs> you win 3x. Pick four right, you win 10x. And if you pick six right, you win 25x you can. That's gonna get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. I avoided credit cards most of my life. But when I started to create a streaming platform for musicians like me, I knew it was important to build my credit to set my business up right. I heard about the Chime Credit Builder card and I signed up right away. I didn't have to worry about fees, interests, or credit checks. Within a month, my score went up. Now it's up over 100 points. I feel set up for success and so is my business. I tell everybody about the Chime Credit Builder card. Here we go. Check it out at Chime.com. An ESPN Plus pay-per-view. The King of Boxing. Daddy, daddy, we came to start. The King of MMA. Today, royalty beats raw power. An epic clash. It is the battle of the baddest. Fury versus Nganu. Today at 2 p.m. Eastern. Buy it now on ESPN Plus Pay-Per-View. The second half of our charity exhibition between West Virginia and George Mason about to begin here at the Coliseum. Patriots leading the Mountaineers by five at the break. Nick Farrell, Warren Baker, and Amanda Roger, Mazie, I'm ready with any crew tonight. Uh, Bake, with West Christian Virginia offensively. Thoughts. Coach Eiler telling us that he thought that George Mason did a good job on defense to disrupt West Virginia's offense. Yes, West Virginia never did get into any flow at all. And a lot of that was because of the defense. And West Virginia's just not comfortable yet. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. For West Virginia, Jesse Edwards has eight points, but he got into foul trouble. And when you have your two big starting bigs in Edwards and a cook on the bench, that makes things so much more difficult. It does, but you can see the soft touch that he has. He really takes his time. And Slavinsky came in and really gave West Virginia a lift when they needed it. He came and hit three or four big buckets. And I'll tell you what, he's gonna be a good player. He takes his time, he doesn't rush anything. West Virginia really needed his lift off the bench. Slazinski, the six foot nine forward, leads WVU with 11 points. But what about George Mason Bake? Not only playing well defensively, throwing a lot of different looks at West Virginia, but really taking it to the Mountaineers on offense. Yeah, Keyshawn Hall really coming in and giving a big lift. The former UNLV player, really good. And Maddox came in as well and gave him a big lift. Yeah, these guys can create their own shots, and that's you know that's some of the things that West Virginia has trouble doing at times. 
Keyshawn Hall had a hot hand in the first half with nine points. So did Darius Maddox. He had seven. In terms of rebounding, pretty even. That was something that Coach Eilert wanted West Virginia to focus on entering tonight's contest. In fact, Mountaineers are plus one at the break but they've missed 11 three-point shots. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Amanda Mazie, for more insight. Yeah, I caught, caught up with Coach Skin coming out of the locker room, and he said that he really liked how his players responded to this atmosphere here. He said his players had a lot of good poise about them, and he was proud that they only turned the ball over four times in this kind of environment. Now, I said, what do you need to work on? And he said, well, those 50-50 balls, we didn't win any, and that gave the Mountaineers a chance to get back into this game. He said, so that we have to start winning those balls. Nick? Okay, Amanda, thanks. It's act two underway in the final dress rehearsal before the regular season for a pair of teams led by first-year head coaches. Teams have switched sides. West Virginia and all right attacking the bucket to your left with the first possession of the half. Edwards is going to go to the free throw line. I cook, I cook Luke doing a good job of looking inside for Edwards. And Edwards getting pretty good position inside. Quite frankly, you know, Nick, West Virginia at the half, down, they're fortunate to only be down five points right now. If you just didn't know the score and you were looking at it, you would think that George Mason was that bigger, but West Virginia hanging in there and fighting and doing what they need to do. Edwards misses the first. He was a 73% free throw shooter last season for Syracuse. The 50-year center played international ball representing the Netherlands during the summer. Coach Eilert went to Europe to watch him. He goes one for two, nine points now for the big man. Let's see how West Virginia comes down and plays the defense. They've been getting in foul trouble because George Mason has been attacking the basket. The Patriots led by their first year head coach, Tony Skin, have to be pleased with what they did on offense in the first half bake, averaging 62% from the field. Yeah, they got a lot of good looks and then get some stuff inside. Oh, you know, Polite hadn't done anything up to this point. There's a guy that can get going and can really, really get the score and going. West Virginia cannot forget about him, even though the other guys have been the ones that really played them. Preseason all a 10 third team is Polite. Presa has it taken away. Billups with a dunk in transition. Eight point George Mason lead continuing to extend that pressure after makes. Back in that matchup zone right now. Seth Wilson with the floater. Foul on the floor. Possession will stay with West Virginia. It's committed by Amari Kelly. Yep. Good quick hands. And then the dunk, you get a steal like that, you deserve to get the two points. Kirk Carissa was really in bad shape because he was right at the midcourt line, really didn't have a lot of things to do with the basketball. Meanwhile, Kelly, that's his third personal, so the former UNC Wilmington man goes to the bench. For West Virginia, Carissa, in possession of the ball now, also has three fouls. Josiah Harris for three. Swish! Need a lot more of that from JoJo Harris. That's West Virginia's sixth three-pointer of the night. Five-point George Mason lead. Billups inside, misses the layup. Henry with a putback, missing two. No foul on West Virginia, but very fortunate that that wasn't a stick back for George Mason. Chance to cut it to a one-possession game. A cook to Kirk Risa. Good find to Edwards. Back to Harris. Driving off the front iron. Harris again is fouled. Relentless pursuit by JoJo Harris. You like to see that type of energy. So it's Hall who sends Harris to the line. He becomes the second Patriot with three fouls. 
Harris makes the first, and it's a quick pull on Hall, who's replaced by Woody Newton. Eight points for West Virginia's six foot seven sophomore. Make it nine. He's four for four from the strike. One possession ball game. Well, Josiah Harris is a guy that can't create his own deal, and West Virginia's going to need that throughout the year. Maddox for three. Got it. Boy, does he get up quick. Harris had pretty good defense on him, and he just got up so quick on the shot. Another George Mason foul. Maddox, who just made the three, commits it. Quick elevation. He gets up to, and then just kind of follows through. You can tell how much he must work on that in practice. Maddox with a pair of triples. Believe he's also the first Patriot in double figures in scoring. Edwards with the tip can't go. Patriots by six. Chance to extend the lead again. Maddox pulls up at the line. He's got 12. You almost have to try to deny him the basketball because he can get a shot off anytime he. Oh boy. Bad pass. Edwards with the giveaway, and I think it's Creasa who commits the foul on the other end. No. no, they'll tag Edwards with the foul. Excuse me, so that's his third. Boy, it did look like he was going to be on Kerr, but nope. But again, regards to who it's on, that's, a, that's another big foul. Woody Newton at the line, misses the first. Change for West Virginia. Slazinski back on the floor. Edwards wearing number seven to the bench. And I will say, Bake, it is a little bizarre to watch the referees with these <laughs> single digit numbers. Looks like for Edwards it should be 52. You look at your score sheet, who is that? Oh, he has seven for Edwards. Yes. Another new wrinkle in the NCAA this season. We asked Ray Natilli about it, and he says a, a lot of it's going to have to be verbal to the good people at the right. But I mean, good luck at that when this place is packed. <laughs> Seth Wilson kicks it to the corner. Ofri Neve to Slazinski for three. He got it. And Quinn Slazinski continues to showcase a hot hand for West Virginia with 14 points. And good read by Neve to see that. So this, he was open, and he got the ball to him in a good shooting position. Three three-pointers as well for the Iona transfer. And an offensive foul committed by the Patriots. West Virginia and George Mason locked in a showdown. Uh-oh. I cook, I cook is down on the court. Yes, he is in the way that the West Virginia bench has reacted to this. Oh, boy. The air feels different on fall Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. This moment is your legacy. This jam session, this story, this heartbeat. Stella! Because when you give to WVU Medicine Children's, you're not just giving dollars. Don't you cry. You're giving hope, lifelong joy, a healthier future. You're giving a legacy. Become a donor at wvukids.com legacy. 
Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. The air feels different on false Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Mountaineers know. Let's go! Really means, let's try. Let's create. Let's explore. And let's do it all together. scary situation has developed here at the WVU Coliseum. The player receiving medical attention is the forward, a cook, a cook, formerly played for UConn and Georgetown. He collapsed on the court a moment ago before we went to that break. Some yeah, very well, concerned faces around him and the Mountaineer bench. Well, and, and George Mason as well, you know, it's a ball game, and when something like this happens, it shakes up everybody in the building. So, scary situation. We, of course, are hoping for the best for a cook, a cook. WVU players kind of standing around looking and there's not a lot of coaching you can even do right now because their minds are not on what's going on as far as the game is. It's on their, their fellow brother on the floor right now. A normally raucous WVU Coliseum has been brought to just a murmur here as the player, a cook, a cook, receives medical attention We'll step aside here on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. The air feels different on false Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and we'll continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. This moment is your legacy. This jam session, this story, this heartbeat. Stella! Because when you give to WVU Medicine Children's, you're not just giving dollars. Don't you cry. You're giving hope, lifelong joy, a healthier future, you're giving a legacy. Become a donor at wvukids.com slash legacy. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. The air feels different on false Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and we'll continue to be there. 
United Bank. Proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Mountaineers know. Let's go! Really means, let's try. Let's create. Let's explore. And let's do it all together. Charity exhibition here at the WVU Coliseum. We're in the second half of action and the only thing that matters at this juncture is the well-being of the fifth year forward, a cook, a cook. He collapsed before the media timeout with 1556 left in the second half and has been receiving medical attention for a period of close to 10 minutes since on the near sideline. You know, Nick, uh, I know what it's like as a player. I was on this very court when an official collapsed one time and we were playing in the middle of a ball game. And it was it is very it's very difficult for you to, to, to play a ball game after you're seeing something like that. So I know what the players are going through as they look at their teammate on the floor because I know how I felt when I saw the same situation happen when I was playing here uh, in high school. Extremely difficult situation and unfortunately this has been all too common of a scene for WVU athletes in recent weeks. The West Virginia football team had two players carted off the field against TCU back on September 30th. West Virginia forward a cook a cook continuing to receive medical attention on the right sideline we will step aside for a moment here on Big 12 now on ESPN plus. The air feels different on fall Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive and traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion. West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. This moment is your legacy. This jam session, this story, this heartbeat. Stella! Because when you give to WVU Medicine Children's, you're not just giving dollars. Don't you cry. You're giving hope, lifelong joy, a healthier future. You're giving a legacy. Become a donor at wvukids.com legacy. Good morning, America. 
Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. The air feels different on false Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Mountaineers know. Let's go! Really means, let's try. Let's create. Let's explore. And let's do it all together. West Virginia forward, a cook, a cook has been lifted onto a stretcher and is going to be carted off the court here at the WVU Coliseum in this charity exhibition between George Mason and West Virginia. A cook, the 6'10 fifth year, collapsed, if you're just joining us, shortly after the 16 minute mark and has been receiving medical attention ever since. So Josh Eilert, West Virginia's interim head coach, and Tony Skin, George Mason's first-year head coach, now chatting with our referees, Ray Natilli, Brett Smith, and Anthony Eads. We're past the 16-minute mark. George Mason leading West Virginia 53-48. to 48. Just got an update from our referee Brett Smith who says there will be a brief period here and then a warm up. Yeah, Bert, Bert Smith, the official, just came over and said that yes, the game will continue. I'm sure that was a part of the discussion. Says it's going to give both teams five minutes to uh, get loose again and then they will continue. So a five minute warm up period will ensue here. 15.56 left in the second half. George Mason on top of West Virginia 53 to 48. Uh, we, we seriously doubt that we'll get a word of his condition, but if something does come back, we'll let you know. But I doubt very seriously if we'll hear anything. But uh, let's just keep hopes and prayers up that everything will be okay with the young man. Absolutely, Bake. Well said. We'll step aside and have the resumption of play here in the second half at the WBU Coliseum in just a moment. You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. The air feels different on false Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. This moment is your legacy. This jam session, this story, this heartbeat. Stella! Because when you give to WVU Medicine Children's, you're not just giving dollars. Don't you cry. You're giving hope. 
lifelong joy, a healthier future, you're giving a legacy. Become a donor at wvukids.com slash legacy. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. The air feels different on fall Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and we'll continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Mountaineers know. Let's go! Really means, let's try. Let's create. Let's explore. And let's do it all together. After a long stoppage for a medical emergency play will resume in about two minutes here at the WVU Coliseum. Second half of this charity exhibition between George Mason and the Mountaineers. Bate, we just had a conversation during that break with referee Ray Natilli, who explained that both coaches have elected to continue playing this game. And they had the option to opt not to continue it after a cook a cook West Virginia's 50 year forward collapsed and received medical attention for a period of about 10 minutes. Um, difficult, difficult to go on yeah. after this. Yeah, and Ray did say that at any point, if a judge feels that, that they should shut the game down, they would do it. And I said, well, you know, Ray, it's a, an exhibition game. He said, we've been doing this until a regular season game. Right. And that's the right thing to do. Absolutely so. So, so, so often, uh, we're reminded too often that there are so many things more important than exactly. sports and this would be one of those instances we don't have an update on the condition of a cook a cook he was carted off the court if we have an update of course we will share it with you technically speaking this game does not count it's the final exhibition game before the regular season which begins for both of these teams on November 6th, West Virginia will host Missouri State in the season opener on the 6th at 7 p.m. You can watch that game right here on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. For George Mason, the opener is on the 6th against Monmouth. That game at home also a 7 o'clock tip. Both of these teams play their first three games at home. Well, and Monmouth, a future appointed uh, point, uh, play, you know, play West Virginia here, too. So, yeah. That's right, Jake. In fact, that's on Friday the 10th. Monmouth yeah. against the Mountaineers here at the right. Coliseum, also on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. Later in November, the Mountaineers will play in the Fort Myers tip-off. Their game on November 20th is against SMU. On the 22nd, they'll face either Virginia or Wisconsin. And a couple of big non-conference games coming up in December. Circle your calendars for December 1st against St. John's in the Big East Big 12 battle. And on December 6th, the backyard brawl against Pitt. Bake, that's a 9 p.m. tip. Can you make it that late? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure out we'll how to make to it that late. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it. They could be playing at 2 in the morning and not be there. <laughs> All right, action resumes here at the Coliseum. Parisa Neve, Edwards, Wilson, and Slazinski on the court for the team in white West Virginia. To the corner, it's Wilson. Now Slazinski to Kirk Creesa with the trigger from three. Got it. Good ball movement again. Slazinski had an open shot. He looked over and saw Kirk Creesa had a better one. Pitched it to him, and Kerr knocked it down. Baraka Okoje running the point for George Mason. Gets a screen from Nico Pave, who just misses the dunk. But Okoje grabs the long rebound. Also on the court, Polite, Maddox, and Newton. Okoje inside, it's a block third time. Kirk Risa 
has been called for a block, and I think that's his fourth person. Well, he's going to have to come out. Kobe Johnson coming in to replace him. Parisa pleading his case as he makes his way off the court. Remember, a major point of emphasis for referees this season in the NCAA is that block charge call, and you're going to see, it seems, a major shift in the way that's officiated this year. Maddox with a hand in his face. How did he make that? Darius Maddox with 14 points tied for the game high. Quinn Slazinski also has 14 for West Virginia. Two possession ball game under 15 left. Johnson to Slazinski with two on the shot clock. Great rebound by Maddox, the 6'5 senior rising. Here's Keyshawn Hall on the baseline. Lost it. Seth Wilson. Oh, what a spin move. Wilson's going to go all the way, but he's rejected. Edwards with the putback. Two point game. Good hustle by Jesse Edwards to follow that shot down. George Mason leads 55 53. This is Ron Polite, eight to shoot. Maddox, he's been a red hot working against Neve. Two to shoot, Polite has to heave it. Short, rebound George Mason. Boy, that's a bad, bad sequence for West Virginia. Bad shot at the end of the shot clock and couldn't get the rebound. A Koje for three, misses that. Another offensive rebound. Maddox makes that one. You give a team enough chances, and they're going to make you pay. Maddox, 16 points, nine of them in the second half, and it would appear that that was the ailment that Coach Eiler did not uh, like against Vandy, the defensive rebounding. Major point of emphasis for West Virginia this week entering this exhibition. Block on George Mason. It's Hall for his fourth personal. Creesa has four. Now Hall becomes the first Patriot with four. I'm not going to compare the two, but to what we've seen Maddox do right now, that is a sample of what Raycon Battle can do. Mm. Battle can create his own shot just like Maddox is doing right now. And you got to have a guy like that. Somebody when things break down that can do it. Paul and Pave to the bench for George Mason. Re-entering are Henry and Newton. Slazinski misses the second free throw. Quinn knew he missed it because he took off as soon as he let the ball go from the free throw line. So after Slazinski goes one of two, George Mason a chance to make it a two possession game. It's Slazinski with the board. Kobe Johnson for West Virginia. Up and in, one point game. That's something that Kobe Johnson's really worked on. He's gotten stronger, able to go inside, and bull his way up, and his shot has improved. Mountaineers have been tested tonight. They trail by one against George Mason. Polite, can't get it to fall. Mountaineers will push. Chance to take the lead here for WVU. Johnson's floater is no good. Oh boy, George Mason with numbers. Two West Virginia guys on the floor. Yep. Slazinski commits a foul. That's his first. West Virginia and George Mason in a tight one here in this charity exhibition. Patriots lead the Mountaineers by a point.
Billy? I need help with a clicker. Yeah, wait, one second, Grandma. This guy's gonna buy my car. Billy, you still there? I'm okay, deal, right? you need Carvana. What's your plate number? Boss, M-O-V. Vehicle features, no accidents, right? No. Good. Generating offer. Carvana can pick it up tomorrow. That's an amazing offer. But do you still need help with the clicker? I'll ask your sister. Sell your car the easy way with Carvana. This football season, Prize Picks is making every game day worth more. Just pick more or less on player stats like rushing yards, touchdowns, and more, and win up to 25 times your cash. Go for the win across the country and get hyped this season with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Visit prizepicks.com slash TV for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. How good does it feel when Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less? When you can save on good and gather groceries and all the fall flavors. And when quality ingredients bring more to the table. When you get low prices on the latest trends. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you're serving up taste they love at low prices. That's totally Target. And you know, being away from home can be especially difficult for international student athletes. But when your home country is engaged in a war and your family is there, well, that is a whole new level. Newcomer Ofri Nouve is from Israel, where his parents and sister reside in the northern part of the country. And while his family is safe, we are happy to report, and they are away from the actual fighting. Coach Eiler told me he makes it a priority every single day to check on Ofri to make sure his mental health is okay during this time of turmoil and uncertainty. Nick. Yeah, a great note, Amanda and Neve has been really solid tonight for West Virginia. Jesse Edwards with the block there. Yeah, nice block without, without any contact at all. Akoje off the glass. That little fellow eventually is going to be very, very special. He's got 10 points. 6-3, true freshman. Going back to the point Amanda made, Bake, that really seems like that's part of Josh Eilert's philosophy. We heard from Alex Ruoff, the assistant coach this week, that that period in the summer when, when the transition happened and Josh Eilert was named interim head coach was a really challenging time for this thing. The pieces had to come together so very quickly. But Ruoff also noted that, that was a really critical time for the development of the players that stuck with WVU through that transition and, and Coach Eilert I'm sure would say the same that they savored those moments with those players. Exactly. Yes. Yep, I agree. It is such a difficult task for this coaching staff to put things together so quickly not just to be ready for the November 6th regular season opener but to be ready for Big 12 play come January likely going to be one of the toughest if not the toughest co conferences in college basketball once again this year. Edwards made the first miss the second. He's got 12 points and is two for four from the line. Still a one possession ball game. Jared Billups to Newton, now to Okoje. A little hesitation. Loops around back 
to Woody Newton. Rejected by Edwards. Nice two blocks, job. Two blocks on as many possessions. Other end, rejection by Billups. Boy, a little bad thing going on both ends here. Both guys getting up and getting good, clean blocks. Looks more like they're playing volleyball or <laughs> tennis. Edwards on one end, Billups on the other end. Chase down block from Jared Billups. Mountaineers almost lost it. Possession will stay with WVU. By the way, great note on the Siena transfer, Jared Billups, the cousin of Chauncey Billups, former NBA Finals MVP and current Trailblazers head coach. Just over 10 minutes left. West Virginia a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. No oh. Big time slam. Boy, the young man is showing himself very nice. Tie ball game. West Virginia's game against Vanderbilt featured 23 lead changes. We could be in for a good final 10 minutes here. Edwards with the board. That's his fifth rebound of the game. Mountaineers a chance to take their first lead since the first half. Johnson, no good. Edwards tried to tip it to a teammate. Now it's a two on one. Here's a Koje. Can't get it to go with the left, but the Patriots got the board. You saw him there in the corner of your screen. Quinn Slezinski getting ready to check in. He's firing up this West Virginia team. Polite, wide open three. Thank you very much, he says politely, seven points. He doesn't shoot that many, but when he does, you've got to be in his face because he'll knock him down. He knocked down three the other night against St. Thomas when people backed off and you just saw it again. Senior shot 36% from beyond the arc last season for George Mason. He's played for three different head coaches during his four seasons with the Patriots. Reached by Billups. George Mason is over the limit. Got to take another look at this dunk. Yeah, George Mason did a poor job. I'm not taking anything from that shot, but George Mason did a bad job of rotating over just now. And here's Polite getting ready. You back off him, you don't get up on him, and he will make you pay. Neve with a one and one, he makes the front end. Polite hit that last shot, and something was out on him, and that's not, he's not really used to out there on top of a guard, and Polite just kind of backed off and knocked it down. Neve, one of two, but Bake, West Virginia, coaching staff learning a lot about its bigs tonight. Jesse Edwards in foul trouble early, of course, a cook, a cook was taken off the court after a medical incident. Neve has played really well, too. Sixth George Mason turnover inside to Edwards. A lot of contact. He'll go to the line. One thing that I've noticed that I like about Jesse Edwards on the defensive end now, he's kind of playing a one-man zone. When his man gets it, he's not out there challenging. He's just staying back in the lane and being contested shots without contact. That's five fouls on Amari Kelly the former UNC Wilmington and Duquesne Center. On the subject of foul trouble, Keyshawn Hall has four for George Mason. Kirk Creesa also has four for West Virginia. The Mountaineer Maniacs audibly getting their preseason work in too. <laughs> Edwards two for four from the line. First one is good. Jesse Edwards, by the way, one of 20 centers named to the 2024 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar watch list. The award given annually to the best center in Division I men's basketball. He's one for two at the line there. George Mason still up by a point. A Koje to Newton and around to Maddox. Now polite off the screen from Malik Henry. 
The floater is strong. Josiah Harris finds Neve on the wing. Mountaineers will settle it down and get into an offensive set. Just under eight and a half to go. Cross court to Harris for three. Swift. Yes. And West Virginia leads for the first time since before the eight minute mark in the first half. Good look by Jesse Edwards. He looked around, he found JoJo Harris in the corner wide open and did not hesitate to get him the ball. Other end, Maddox misses. The three pointer by Harris gives West Virginia the lead. He's got a dozen on the night. Four Mountaineers in double figures. Kresa, Edwards, Slazinski, and Harris. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Neve for three. Or Neve with a good look just now. Couldn't get it to fall. Newton a three. George Mason back in front. Well, George, uh, George Mason with a lot of guys who have such a quick trigger. Patriots 50% from beyond the arc. Six for 12 tonight. Slazinski offensive foul. Mountaineers trail by one. They had the lead momentarily thanks to Josiah Harris. He's got a degree in communication studies. What about a degree in shooting threes? <laughs> he gets an A in that too, huh? Yeah. We're Carvana, the company who invented car vending machines and buying a car 100% online. Now we've created a brand new way for you to sell your car. Whether it's a year old or a few years old, we want to buy your car. So go to Carvana, enter your license plate, answer a few questions, and our techno wizardry calculates your car's value and gives you a real offer in seconds. When you're ready, we'll come to you, pay you on the spot, and pick up your car. That's it. So ditch the old way of selling your car and say hello to the new way at Carvana. My boy. What you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, <laughs> you win 3x. Pick four right, you win 10x. And if you pick six right, you win 25x. You can. Doesn't don't get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. When I started college, so many people warned me about credit cards. They just seemed really scary. When I needed a car, I realized that I needed to build credit. So I got the Chime Credit Builder card because I could safely build credit without being afraid of fees or interest. And there was no credit check. My score went up over 60 points and I bought my first car. As a busy college student, having a car is an absolute must. I feel like I could do anything. <laughs> my next goal, a 700 credit score. Join me at Chime.com. ESPN Plus gets you ready for the NFL all season long. Get highlights every week with NFL Primetime and live games return week 11 with a Super Bowl rematch. Stream the NFL all season long with ESPN Plus. Here's where legends are born and every match is a spectacle. For the love of football, for the love of La Liga. Knowing how filthy Sid's wrister is means knowing why goalies lose 10 pounds of sweat every game. Knowing it's overtime against Connor McDavid. Is knowing the game's as good as over. Knowing the taste of victory is knowing it tastes best out of one particular cup. Knowing where the season's biggest events can be seen means knowing you'll never miss one. Maple Leafs Bruins, Thursday, 7.30 on ESPN+. final seven minutes at the WVU Coliseum. George Mason in front, but big. West Virginia getting big contributions from the 50-year big man, Quinn Slazinski, with 15 points to lead the Mountaineers. Yeah, he came in in the first half and really did a nice job, but he was just now whistled for a flagrant one foul. On that, that, that uh, play on the baseline, it'll be two free throws for George Mason, and I think they will retain the ball. 
That's right, Bate got the explanation during that stoppage a moment ago from the referee, Ray Natilli. Baraka Akoje makes one of two from the line. Slazinski for West Virginia, one of five Mountaineers in double figures. Sorry, four, one of four Mountaineers in double figures. Meanwhile, George Mason led by Darius Maddox, who has 16 points, and Akoje, who just added to his tally and now has 11. Only one point thus far from that uh, from that foul. Let's see if West Virginia can play some defense and keep it to a one-point situation. Maddox floats one to Akoje. Six to shoot. Offensive foul. Well, we have a moment. Let's get a quick update from our sideline reporter, Amanda Macy. So I just talked with head trainer Randy Metter, and of course they have no comment, no update on a Cook's condition, as you can imagine. But he did say that they do practice for these kind of scenarios. Before every game, they have a medical emergency timeout, so they are prepared for scenarios that happen tonight on the court. And you can see how quickly they responded and how quickly they got him out of here to the hospital. Nick? Thanks, Amanda. Of course, if you're just joining us, West Virginia transfer forward, a cook, a cook, was carted off the court with about 16 minutes left in the second half. It was a scary situation. He did receive immediate attention. We don't have an update. If we do, we'll share it with you. Meanwhile, Slazinski is at the free throw line and has made the first chance to tie it for WVU. And he does. West Virginia has done a nice job of ramping up the defense here in the second half. Defense! 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 Woody Newton nearly lost his footing. Polite steps into a three. Swish. It's amazing how your team leaders, when your team needs a big basket, figure out a way to get it done. Akoje with the takeaway for the Patriots. They're up by three. Chance to make it a two-possession game. Can't get back-to-back -back triples. Kirk Risa has re-entered for West Virginia. He's been limited in this second half, has four personal fouls. Slazinski spinning inside. Neve with the tap in. Neve right there, Johnny on the spot. Krasinski with a nice move. He didn't get it to drop, but Neve there to tap it in. Polite driving against Slazinski. Almost got it up and in. He'll go to the line. Slazinski now with three fouls. <laughs> Polite has come alive here for the Patriots in the second half. Eight of his ten points coming over the last 15 minutes of this game. Substitutes for both teams getting ready to check in. Polite can't drop that one in. It's Edwards and Wilson re-entering for WVU and Hall back into the game for George Mason. Seventy sixty-eight. after Polite goes one for two from the charity strike. Final five minutes in this charity exhibition between West Virginia and George Mason. Back door, alley-oop. And that's what Kurt Risa will do. You can tell that he and Jesse Edwards have really worked on that in practice. 
They call Carissa a magician with the basketball. That's his second assist tonight. Tied up at 70. Put back is no good, but there's a foul on West Virginia. Kerr knew immediately what was going to happen there. There are a couple of guys that can look at each other and read and know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, that's textbook stuff there, isn't it? Yes, Bing? it is. The lob from the 6'3", Creesa, to the 6'11", Edwards. This is Malik Henry's first trip to the free throw line. He's now got five points after making the first. As you would expect in an exhibition game, this thing has not been a thing of beauty for either team, but it's a good competitive ball game. Too. One point lead for George Mason after Henry goes one for two. On that note, Bake, has West Virginia executed better on offense in the second oh, half? Oh, yes, they most certainly have. Another lob, a little behind Edwards that time. Double team down low, kick to Creesa. Back iron, no good. And George Mason gets the timeout. Heads up play there by Jared Billups. Oh boy, now Kirk Reese is down. Oh my. And he is in pain on the floor. Can't really tell whether it's a knee or an ankle, but he is down. Oh my. George Mason leads West Virginia by one with 404 left in this charity exhibition at the WVU Coliseum. Billy, I need help with the clicker. Yeah, wait, one second, Grandma. This guy's gonna buy my car. Billy, you still there? I'm okay, deal, right? you need Carvana. What's your plate number? Boss, M-O-V. Vehicle features, no accidents, right? No. Good. Generating offer. Carvana can pick it up tomorrow. That's an amazing offer. But do you still need help with the clicker? I'll ask your sister. Sell your car the easy way with Carvana. My boy, what you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, <laughs> you win 3X. Pick four right, you win 10X. And if you pick six right, you win 25X you can. Doesn't don't get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. When I first started out as a filmmaker, I didn't want to get into credit cards because I realized I didn't know anything about it and it felt very risky to me. So my friend told me about Chime. I got the credit builder card and it was crazy. I didn't have to worry about interest. I didn't have to worry about fees. It wasn't a credit check. My score is up 80 points. I just finished my feature film and it feels like there's a future ahead to where we're saving up to buy a house. Look, if I can do it, you can do it too. Join me at Chime.com. I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy. And this is why I switched to Shopify. It's the challenges that we don't expect, like a site going down or the checkout wouldn't work. What's nice about Shopify is when I'm with my family, when I'm taking time off, knowing that I have a site up and running and our business is moving forward because we have a platform that we can rely on, that is gold to us. Start your free trial with Shopify today. We've been living it since day one. On the pitch. And in the streets. Good shooting score! Glorious. Beautiful. True. Would you believe it? The thrill of every win. The devastation of every loss. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. West Virginia athletic trainer Randy Meter attending to Kerr Creesa after the player was injured shooting a three-pointer a moment ago. Here's a look at it. Watch Creesa's left foot as he lands. Ugh. You know, that, that really bothers us sometimes now because I've had that happen. It, it hurts a lot worse than it really is. That's a, that's a twist. There's no question about that. But sometimes it's not quite as bad 
initially, you know, initially it feels like it's worse than it is. Hopefully he can bounce back. I don't know if it'll be tonight, but hopefully it's not too, too, too bad. So we're trying to sort this out here, but it appears that a flagrant foul was whistled on Baraka Akoje. Yeah, the officials haven't come uh, haven't come over to give us the official call. So Quince Lazinski's at the free throw line for West Virginia. He's missed the first. If it was a flagrant one, he would shoot another, and West Virginia should get the basketball. Now, again, we don't have any verification of exactly what happened. No, he's shooting, he's shooting three here. So check that personal foul on a Koji, not a on a Koji, not a flagrant. That would be his fourth, and we can assume that it was for fouling Krisa and not allowing him to oh, land. Let him, okay. So, so because he's shooting the free throw in then, place of the it. injured Krisa, gotcha. okay. and it gives West Virginia a 72-71 advantage. So a major swing there, and look at Krisa at the top of your screen. Yep. Taped up, coming back into an exhibition game. A reminder, this does not count toward either team's record. West Virginia's going to retain possession here. Mountaineers have a one-point lead late in the second half against George Mason. They'll get the ball right after this. Huh. How long have you been tracking our car's value with Carvana? Just like seven months. Should we sell it? We hold. Hold. Silver vans are going for more right now, should we? Oh. Our low mileage is paying off. You think we should? Hold. Depreciation's really heating up, you think? Oh. Oh. We just did 2.5%. Hold. Now. I'm on it. I'm on it. Already sold to Carvana. Go to Carvana and track your car's value today. Work goes smoothly when you know the right steps. With Asana, you can coordinate tasks across teams and stay on track, so your team can spend more time celebrating wins. Try it for free at asana.com. My boy, what you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, <laughs> you win 3x. Pick four right, you win 10x. And if you pick six right, you win 25x you can. That's gonna get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. We've been living it since day one. Glorious, beautiful, true. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. here in the second half of this charity exhibition between West Virginia and George Mason. Right now, the Mountaineers lead by a point, but there have been multiple lead changes here in the second half. Bake, Kirk Risa was taken off the court a moment ago with an apparent injury. It looks like he's going to come back on the floor. He's got 10 points for West Virginia. Yeah, and they, they have to have him on the court. We've seen him throw some nice lob passes here. He's been able to hit the outside shot which Josh Ireland wants him to do more of. So, I mean, he's going to be the guy that has to run the train for the ball, ball club. So with 4.04 left, Creesa was fouled as he attempted a three-pointer. He got treatment and is now back on the floor. 
Mountaineers love tough guys. Mountaineer fans love tough guys, I should say, Bake. And you'd be hard pressed to find somebody more tough who's going to come back onto the court in an exhibition game yep. than Carissa. Wilson to the cup. Nice soft layup by Wilson. West Virginia needs a stop. George Mason needs a good possession. Seven points now for the third year guard for West Virginia. Patriots can tie it with a three. Maddox going inside, kicking to Polite for three. Back iron and out of play. Let's give Jesse Edwards a lot of credit playing this whole second half. Really has not himself in harm's way as far as fouls go. And he's going to have to stay on the floor for West Virginia if they're going to be successful this year. Edwards has played 22 minutes. Most of them coming here in the second half. He had two fouls and sat most of the first half out. Final three minutes. West Virginia up by three. Inside to Edwards. He gets doubled. He goes up with it. Oh, now Ray Matilli has a walk. Burt Smith called a foul, so the officials are going to have to get together and talk this over. Big call here. And they are going to count the ball. And they are going to count the ball. Oh, wait now. Wait now. The referee, the referee has said it's on the floor, it appears. We're really going to have to sort this out. That whistle came as he was going up to shoot that basketball. If there was a foul, I think the basket has to count. They do count it. Yeah. Johnny on the spot there, well, Bate. Thank goodness Burt Smith stepped in because Ray Natilly had a walk on the play. So Edwards has 17 points. And Malik Henry has picked up his fifth foul. So that means Amari Kelly and Malik Henry, two forwards for George Mason, have fouled out. Fans always love it when those guys go to the bench. Thank goodness the guy's not a centipede at any time. They'd have, <laughs> <laughs> they'd have a heck of a time with it. Edwards, a chance to make it a six-point game. And he does. Big second half for Jesse Edwards. And this is the type of production that West Virginia is going to need for sure, Bake. He yes. averaged a double-double a season ago. Tonight, he's got the scoring a little bit behind in the rebounding. He only has seven. Oh, what a rejection by Edwards. Jesse Edwards has been playing almost a one-man zone inside. He's not really paying attention to the big guy that he's guarding. He's sitting there protecting the rim, and we've seen three or four nice blocks out of him here in the second half. Exciting stuff from the 6'11 transfer from Syracuse. Slazinski almost took it away. Here's a Koje. Now Keyshawn Hall thought about it. No whistle, but a turnover. West Virginia got it back. So here's the hardwood maestro, Kirk Creesa, orchestrating things for West Virginia offensively. West Virginia's largest lead on the night is eight. Edwards puts the Mountaineers up by eight again. You know, if you're a defender, you cannot afford to let Jesse Edwards get the ball that low. You're going to have to front him or do something, but if he gets it that low, he's going to score. Thing is, if you front him and Kerr has the ball, it's going to be a lob and a dunk. So you have to pick your poison there. Jesse Edwards with 20 points, a dozen in the second half. Eighty to seventy-one, West Virginia. With just over two minutes left, the nine-point lead for WVU is the largest of the night. Mountaineers trailed for a large portion of the second half. Pave might have been partially blocked. Nope, it's a foul on Edwards. 
So he had done a good job defensively of getting involved, but not fouling. That's his fourth. Yep. That time, he, he uh, throws the basket, which he hadn't been doing. Jesse Edwards one step late trying to get there. Nikola Pavre, the transfer from Central Michigan at the line, misses the first. May turn out to be a good foul if he doesn't convert these. West Virginia needs to make sure they block out on this free throw. Second free throw for the native of Lyon, France. Front iron. Patriots extending the pressure. Edwards to Kobe Johnson. Good decision by Kobe Johnson. Bring it back out. Run some clock. Creesa. The lob! <laughs> they connected on that earlier. That would have been pretty. 90 seconds left. Newton rejected by Edwards, but it's another foul. Well, Bake, you said maybe it's a good foul a moment ago since you missed the free throws, but that's where it kills you. Yes. And, and you know, Jesse Edwards is going to have to get used to that. Guys are going to attack him. That's the fifth foul on Edwards. And so he's done for the night. The third player to foul out. But a great ovation from this West Virginia crowd. First opportunity to watch Edwards play for WVU. Ends the game with 20 points and seven rebounds. Meanwhile, Newton at the free throw line. He made the first. West Virginia has to be ready for pressure now. He makes his free throw. And he does make it. Nine points for Newton, seven-point game. West Virginia needs to get organized here against this press. George Mason had played primarily a zone press for most of the game. Looks like man-to-man yeah. -man yeah, here. Yeah, it's going to be man-to-man -man now. They got it into Neve. Johnson double team gets it to Creesa. One ten left. Mountaineers want to use up as much shot clock as they can on this possession. Johnson, Neve, three to shoot, puts it up. George Mason ball. That's about as good as a turnover for the Patriots. Yeah. Good defensive stop by George Mason just now. You know, when, when you're in a situation like that and you have the ball, you've got to be as, aggress as aggressive as the defense is when you have the ball in your hands. They're going to be slapping and trying to get it, so you have to protect the ball. Keyshawn Hall to the rack. He gets the basket in the foul. George Mason doing the right thing now, attacking the rack. They really are. They're going in. If they can get a layup, they're going to do it. If not, they'll try to kick and find somebody for a three. But they're not having any trouble getting to the rim now. Change for West Virginia. Harris to the floor, Sumnick to the bench. And I believe that's three straight possessions that George Mason has gone to the hoop and drawn a foul. Hall makes it a four-point game. And head coach Tony Skin wants a timeout. Bake, we said that both of these head coaches wanted to learn about their teams, right? Each coach said, tonight is about us. What have you learned about West Virginia tonight? Well, both teams, there's no quit. You know, West Virginia really, for the most part in the first half, did not play well at all and really needs some defensive stops. They came alive in the second half and started playing. George Mason's doing the same thing right now. Well, the big story of the second half in terms of scoring has been Jesse Edwards, the big man for WVU. He just fouled out, so his night is done. 21 points, 7 rebounds. The stat line 
for the transfer center who averaged a double-double a season ago for Syracuse. Who has really good feet. You can see him being able to pivot inside without walking. Former All-ACC third-team player, All-ACC defensive team with the Orange. Nearly 100 career basketball games under his belt at the Division I level. If you're West Virginia, any pass that comes to you, you have to come and meet it. Kobe Johnson did not like what he saw called timeout. Well, meanwhile, Big, well, we have another stoppage. You mentioned what you learned about West Virginia. What about George Mason? It seems like Coach Skin's got a really good team on his hands. He's got a lot of good athletic players there. Once those guys really start learning how to play together, they're going to be tough. And Polite's just the ingredients that they need to keep those guys together. But we can see that when things break down, they have guys that can really put the ball up. Two teams in very similar situations during the offseason, both undergoing coaching changes, both essentially having to completely rebuild their rosters. But when we talked to Coach Skin earlier today, he said, you know, it's not that different to what anybody else, at least his situation, anybody else in the country is facing with so much attrition on rosters these That's days exactly right. in college basketball. But as a member of that 2006 Final Four team from George Mason, he feels that his transition to that, that the head coaching position has been a smooth one so far. Back to action here. Kresa gets it into Slazinski, who's fouled by Newton on the near side. Third personal for Newton. And, and it'll be Slazinski to the line. And a quick, quick foul by George Mason. Only two seconds off, off the clock. Make Quinn. Slazinski get to the line and knock some down. Twenty points now for Quinn Slazinski, the Iona transfer. Two 50-year big men with 20 plus for West Virginia tonight. Edwards 21, Slazinski 20. Make it 21 after the free throw. All right, two possession game. Under a minute to go. Mountaineers by six. Maddox, long two. Got it. Mountaineers get it in quickly, and Kirk Kreese is fouled. Boy, how, how ice is Maddox? I mean, he has hit big shot after big shot, and when, when, under, pressure, under pressure. Those haven't been easy shots he's been knocking down. 18 points for the senior from Maryland. Very few of them, to your point, Bake, have come easily. No. Big free throws here for Kirk Kreese up. First is good, he has 11. Four Mountaineers, including three newcomers in double figures tonight. Second one misses, five point game. Akoje can go to the cup, misses. Kreisa looking for a man. He has Kobe Johnson who takes it in. And Big assist for Kerr. Big assist for Kerr. Rebound Josiah Harris. And that's it. West Virginia defeats George Mason 80. 78 Josh Eilert and Tony Skin come together. Both of those head coaches will go for their first regular season win on November 6th for West Virginia. It's against Missouri State here at the Coliseum and on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus at 7 p.m. for George Mason hosting Monmouth Monday, Monday the 6th at 7 p.m. as well. Big final thoughts. This felt like anything but an exhibition game. <laughs> those guys went at it, you know, and that gives you a little taste of what both teams have. And of course, one of the stories tonight is the status of a cook, a cook who was carted off the court in the second half. No update on him, but we're certainly thinking about him tonight. Okay, let's go to our sideline reporter, Amanda Maisie, who has interim head coach Josh Eilert.
First of all, Coach, I have to ask you how difficult it was to see what happened to a cook and then come back out and make that decision to play. It's something I never thought I'd have to go through. You know, it's uh, you sit there and you look at uh, he's one of us, you know, and, and, and to see him laying lay there, it was tough. It was tough. And I, I'm just I'm proud of the guys and the way they bounced back and, and, and took the opportunity even after the challenges we had. But uh, um, I got to get over there and see him as soon as possible. Absolutely. So you guys did trail much of the second half, but really battled back. They didn't fold. Talk about Jesse Edwards, Slavinsky, like just how they how well they played and what they contributed to this team. Uh, Jesse's a special kid. I mean, he's very, very talented, and and I don't want to ride him as hard as I did tonight, but uh, we had to to win the game, and so we kept on dumping it down, and you know, it, it forced to put a lot of pressure on them in terms of put them in foul trouble, but. Um, he's special. He's special, and uh, it's, it's going to be really tough without a cook, and we don't have a backup five now. Finally, just meshing the newcomers, the veterans. Your thoughts on one game in? Uh, work in progress. Uh, we just keep on figuring out how we get better. I mean, there's a lot of things we can go over tonight and dissect, and just like the scrimmage we had 10 days ago, uh, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll really uh, look into that film, figure out how we, we, we improve. Coach, appreciate it. Congratulations. Nick? Okay, Amanda, thanks for West Virginia tonight. 43% from the field, 37% from beyond the arc, 76% from the free throw line. And now back to Amanda with Jesse Edwards. All right, Jesse Edwards, 21 points, seven rebounds. How did it feel to be out there tonight? Uh, to be honest, it felt amazing. We had some battles to fight out there. Uh, first of all, I hope uh, AK, I, could, cause I hope everything is good with him. I'm about to check on him. Uh, but, man, I'm really happy we pulled this one out. Uh, great game. Absolutely. You got into foul trouble early. Couple quick fouls. You had to sit much of the first half. But you really came out in that second half and played hard. Just the resilience of yourself not to go too hard and pick up fouls, even though you did foul out late in the game. But you were a key player in this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not going to lie. I got a little bit used to it after a while. Uh, I've been in the same position. Uh, obviously, in the man defense, it's a different game. Uh, Got to get used to where I can, uh, you know, go up, contest. Uh, but over the, over the run of the game, it went a lot better. Uh, and there's only room to improve. So, How was this first game for you guys, just kind of figuring out who's who, who works together well? Right. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. You know, we've been working all summer, but there's nothing like the real thing, you know. Uh, in front of the fans, there's always the extra energy, the extra, you know, pregame jitters, what, what you might call it. But... It was um, a great experience, I think, for the guys. And, you know, we got behind and we got right back into the game. And that's what I'm proud of. Jesse, thanks. Congratulations. Nick? Amanda, that'll do it for our charity exhibition coverage here from the WBU Coliseum. For Amanda Maisie, Warren Baker, and all the members of our crew, I'm Nick Farrell saying so long from the Coliseum where West Virginia defeats George Mason 85-78. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. <laughs>
from the intensity of the pitch to the beauty of the tiki taka from city rivals to el clasico here's where legends are born and every match is a spectacle a celebration like no other for the love of football for the love of la liga